What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a treat and I'm gonna be honest, I didn't 100% know where this was going, but I can see that this has turned into a thing. So today we've got another burger. We're just gonna make a quest because of a lot of the feedback and response I got from a lot of y'all to find out what is in fact the best burger in Florence. And so if you stick around to the end of the video, I've got a spreadsheet and I'm gonna plug this one in and we're gonna rank it. I am Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina. And with no further ado, let me break down for you what we got today. Now this was one that was requested in high demand and I already had it on the list. In fact, in my preliminary list, but y'all gave me places that I haven't even tried before, all right? So this list is subject to change. And I understand that, I'm an open-minded guy. But I already had this as my number three burger in town, including chains, but remember we're not looking at chains. So taking chains out, this will be number two behind buddies. And it is in fact, with the thank you bag, cause I've heard it said, if it comes in a thank you bag, it's guaranteed to be good. But we got Del May. And so everything that you're gonna see here today from Del May Grocery, I paid, uh, I paid fourteen dollars and three cents for. All right, and I got a couple things here, so I'm gonna break all that down and show it to you. Here, let's get these out. Some of y'all would know this about me. Some of y'all may not, but I'm into spicy food. And then when you eat spicy stuff, and you eat stuff that's hotter than what most or like people around you eat, you become the spicy food guy. And then people start bringing you really hot stuff, and then you do become like the hot food guy. So whatever. I'm gonna try these um, flaming Hot Lay's chips I've never had either. See how hot they are. And let's get right into it. So while I'm getting this set up, uh, Del May Grocery, I've been going to for like 30 years. My uncle used to do pool work and sometimes during the summer I'd go with him to uh, help work on the swimming pools. I've been to Del May Grocery for lunch, for a hot dog, for a burger, whatever. Many times, many times in my life. So it is not a mystery to me what Del May Grocery has to offer. It's a staple in Florence. It has been for a long time. Now they got hand cut fries, which I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna tell y'all something that a lot of y'all aren't gonna agree with. But I actually like crinkle fries. I think it's because my grandma used to make the crinkle fries when I was a kid out of the bag, like the Orida fries, and she would fry them in oil. Maybe it's a nostalgia thing. I actually do like crinkle fries. All right, now let me get y'all in here with this. See that? So what I did, I went basic lettuce, tomato, pickles, mayonnaise, ketchup. All right, standard burger and cheese. Good, man. It's classic. There's no bells, no whistles. Uh, the best comparison that I can make for you, that tastes like a McDonald's burger. Store is super popular. I went in at about, I went in at about one o'clock and at any given time that I was sitting in there, and I sat in there for about 15 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. Yeah. There were, on average, 10 people, 10 people um, in there waiting for food, not just in there like getting gas or something like that. The burger season well. Like I said, it's nothing fancy. Not a lot of bells and whistles, but Classic, the regular Marita bun. It does have McDonald's burger vibes, but but better though. I would rank this over McDonald's, okay? Just to be clear on that. At the end of the video, I'm gonna plug this in the spreadsheet and I'm gonna rank it. Maybe it's changing my mind right now, possibly. So y'all stick around. So far we've only got one on the spreadsheet, which was buddies that we went to in this video last week. Let's try these real quick and then let's talk about something important. I don't know if y'all ever had the, the Oots hot chips. They're hotter than these. 
on a scale of one to 10, these are like a 2.3 on a hot scale. Not hot. Maybe it's the heat that builds after you eat a bunch of them, I don't know. I like to have a little topic for us to discuss while we eat, all right? Could be anything. I am a realtor. At its core, at its foundation, this is a real estate channel. And I wanna share something with you that's on my heart. I, I waited tables in the restaurant industry for a long time, like a decade. And I used to always want to inform people that typically waiters only make $2 an hour. And I think from 10 years of experience working in that field, a lot of people genuinely didn't know that. I've literally had people tell me I didn't know that. Same thing with realtors. I want to talk about how real estate agents get paid briefly. I'm not talking about how commissions are dispersed. That's a whole nother can of worms, whole nother subject. I'm simply saying this. Real estate agents only get paid when transactions close. Okay, so that's a good cheeseburger, man. It's a good cheeseburger. If they show you a bunch of houses, make a bunch of phone calls, send out a bunch of emails, make a bunch of trips to wherever, and there's not actually a closing, then that real estate agent does not get paid anything. Now, there's different structures that some people would charge, like upfront fees and all that, but as a rule, in general, is what I'm talking about right now, they don't get paid. Now, why am I telling you that? It's not a cry me a river. They know what they signed up for. I'm optimistic. I believe that most real estate agents are hardworking men and women that are there to do a good job because they believe if they do a good job, they will get paid accordingly. And sometimes things don't work out. So I'm not saying I'm um, singing a sob song to you. What I'm saying is I bet that there's a lot of people out there that genuinely did not know that. So just something to keep in mind when you're working with a real estate agent and they're making calls, these guys are, you know, we're shooting emails out at all times of the morning and night, making all kinds of calls to contractors and all sorts of different things with no guarantee of pay on the other side. Most jobs don't function that way. And so if you're working with an agent and they're working really hard and you can see that, just know that, have that in the back of your mind, you know, just understand that. It means that in general, they're really committed to what's going on. Now, here's what I really wanted to say with that. There's some helpful information. Let's say that you have a real estate agent that you're working with. And for whatever the reason, the transaction doesn't happen. I'll give you an example. I've worked with clients that have bought a home in another state. So if you're working with a real estate agent and you feel like they're doing a really good job, you appreciate their work ethic, their courtesy, you know, all that kind of stuff and they didn't get paid, and you feel like, man, well, I feel bad because they didn't pay. The point of this is not to guilt trip you. I wanna tell you something that you can practically do. Go online and leave them a review. That positive review from the heart from you could result in 10 closed transactions for them down the road because people are looking at these reviews in a competitive environment. And so just because a deal didn't close, you could really help them out a lot by leaving a good review for them and just speaking from the heart about the positive things that you saw in them and experienced on the internet. I just think that's good information. And I can guarantee you, all the real estate agents out there watching this video, they're glad I said it. Now let's go back to this uh, Dale Made Burger, okay? It's like I said, There's no frills in the Del May burger. It's um, pretty straightforward. You can get it all the way, which will have chili and onions and mustard on it. I opted not to go that route. Del May does have other items. So as a kid, I would get the hot dog a lot. They've also got chicken, different sandwiches. But yeah, I'm gonna plug this into the spreadsheet and I am gonna keep it at number two. So right now we've had two burgers, 
Buddy's Burger and Del May. Del May Grocery is called Old Del May. And I got Buddy's Burgers at number one. And now Del May Grocery's Burger or Old Del May's Burger at number two. So let me know what y'all think about Del May if you know. If you don't, if you're not from around the area and you want to get a quality cheeseburger and you don't want to pay a whole lot for it. See, that's the other thing. That burger is a lot cheaper than um, Buddy's too. The burger and the fries was like $9 and I got this other stuff. You might want to consider Del May. It's on Cashua, right at the intersection of Second Loop and Cashua. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. If you're in the Florence area and there's a burger that comes to mind that we need to try that I may not be aware of, drop it in the comments. Make sure you tip your waiters and waitresses accordingly. Leave a nice review for your real estate agent. It really blesses them a lot. And if y'all like these videos, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, share the videos, all that good stuff. It helps us out a ton. And with that being said, Del May's Burger. I keep saying Del May Grocery. Old Del May, number two on our list now. Flaming Hot Lays. Not really that hot. Not really that impressive. And I appreciate each one of y'all. And y'all take care. And we'll see you on the next one. Okay, update. And something I forgot. Del May Burger, also top tier. We're going to put the list together. And then we're going to put them in tiers. So Buddy's Burger was top tier. Del May Burger's top tier. Secondly, the Lay's chips, I'm going to change my number on that. On the heat index, they do get hotter the more that you eat them. It is a heat that builds. So I'm going to go 5.5 on the heat because I don't want to mess any of y'all up. And I have a tendency to do that with hot stuff. So the heat does build. I'm going 5.5 on the Sammy scale. That could be an 8.5 or a 9.0 on your scale. You have been advised.